First common mistake is when you receive the person in, uh -huh. they, they, they hear the word cartwheel, so they really throw the body over. Uh huh. Can we go real fast? We're going to throw yeah. over. Go fast. Boom. Okay, I see. Sorry, I, it's, it's so okay. hard for me to even throw myself try? over now. Yes. So if, if he, two, one, leaves in, if she throws herself over really fast, uh -huh. she's going to end up coming All over and like really she fast. Wants, okay. So it's less of a cartwheel. It's, it's more really, of a lean. Yes. And, and that's a lot with. A lot of this is the same with acro. You really allow your base to lead you. And if you or the flower are really throwing your body or back leading, you're really throwing the base off. So on this one, if if she just leans her weight in, then I can receive and control it better and bring her in. Okay. She doesn't she doesn't need to throw her body over. Okay. That's a common mistake, okay? A second common mistake is bases underestimate how far they need to kick with this one leg that's receiving. What they do is they'll come in and then they just cave in like Collapsing. this. Collapsing. They just collapse. They have to extend uh -huh. it immediately. Or, or, or they'll come up and then they'll collapse like right there. They'll okay. Collapse, they'll kick and their legs will just collapse. That's like this what side. happens. So that's common too. So that that would look like like kicking, not collapsing, and then you uh -huh. fall this way. So you'd either fall likely here, over here, and sometimes on the basis body. But that's, I think that's a lot safer than like flinging yourself over this way. Okay. Okay, so helpful tips. The first helpful tip is the placement. She walks right where my waistline is, okay. the flyer does. It's not way up here, and mm -hmm. it's not way back there. Okay. And secondly, she's not so close to my hip here. This doesn't really give me uh, a chance to receive her weight. She needs to step about a foot away from my hip. Okay. So my hip line's here, about a foot away. And then now as the base, my foot placement support. It's not way up here. Uh -huh and it's not way down the leg. If her hip bone's right there, I want to go right underneath it so that her torso can fold over it. Okay. Okay, because likely your foot's going to slide up. So I do recommend if you do anything, even if you aim a little lower, that's better. Okay. If you aim so high, it just won't work because her torso doesn't get a chance it. to fold over, okay? okay? So even if you need to, aim super low on purpose because it's just naturally going to slide up to where her hip bone is. Okay. And so watch my hands. They're open here. They're never uh -huh. closed because if you fall, she can support herself, right? We uh, work on that, mm -hmm. which is uh, open support. And the feet are right here. Uh, most of the, the weight pushing is, is the opposite limb. So if my foot is on her hip on this side, we're likely not going to push a lot on this arm. We're likely going to push more on this arm because yeah. it balances, yes. balances her body. So she just leans in. I'm pushing a lot on this arm here. Okay. I'm going to receive her weight a bit. And once her hips over, then I press up and then I catch her on this other foot. Okay. Which is end up a straddle for it. And this catch is a little challenging at first, but once you get it, the more you press off this hand, watch, if Tara presses off a lot, then she kind of floats for a second and it gives me more time to place this foot as she comes in the straddle. If she pushes off of this hand more, that's great. It makes her come in slower. Okay. She has a better control. And watch her straddle. It's really nice and wide and it's piked. Uh -huh. It gives me a place to put my feet. Uh -huh. Another common mistake is flyers bring the feet too towards the sky. We demonstrate that. And then my feet and slide, slide straight off. Yeah. So she's got to stay straddled and piked. Okay. Okay. And so like a great warm up for this is a good comment. There's what we did earlier, tripod and stand. Getting a good understanding of what it's like to be upside down and tighten and straddle. Okay. But the one for that is uh, like a tripod that's on it earlier. Okay. Because this teaches you to push off of your arms a okay. lot, which is what you'll need when you're cartwheeling in. Okay. Because you'll be pushing off of that arm. Yeah, and I would say your hands should even be back a little more. That's comfortable for you right there. That's good. Yes. Because you're drawing a little triangle between your head and your arms. Okay. The further back, the more you feel it in your arms. <laughs> you see how much weight she's putting in her hands? That's yeah. a good thing when we're doing any type of control transition. Okay. Because she can control more, more of her weight. Yeah. And see, my elbows are in, like everything's mm. kind of like a... Okay. And to warm up the base for this, it's just... I mean, it's a lot. It's 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 harder you think because it's one leg. I have a hard time with this. All the bases. Probably be able to base all, all the bases basing that we've been doing is both legs, and so this one is just one leg kicking so really hard. You have to keep hard. it in the center line, right? Too uh -huh. like you have to keep it. Come into, into the, the middle of the mat. Okay. 
Yes, yeah, so the reason why I oriented it this way for the cartwheel is uh -huh. you're more than likely going to fall laterally. Uh -huh. So we'll work it this way. So if her foot's on this set, which arm are you going to press off of most likely? This one. Uh -huh. Am I going? Yeah. Keep your legs straddled. I'm waiting to be pushed up. Yeah. You're just leaning in, huh? And see, yeah. I lost my center line already. Yes, because uh, more than likely, you, you're going to go that way. Okay. A nice and strong chair, kick straight up. See, I lost okay. the center line. 